Introducing to my left, representing the O, one, two, one. Representing boisterous behavior. And representing T and A wrestling. Four, one. This has been a title reign that has been that has been the, the addition of exorcising demons. Rev Pro 2022. These two met, and it was a match that left an indelible mark on the youngest in charge. Tonight, Leon Slater has the world to lose against Speedball Mike Bailey, who has everything to gain. We talked about this a little bit earlier, Tom, but it was that match. It was that match at Rev Pro against been nothing but upside from there but at the same time Slater he, he needs to beat Mike Bailey he believes he needs to beat Mike Bailey he needs to prove he needs to prove what he has become he intends to do it right here and whatever happens with this match both of these two have to share a locker room in TNA wrestling going forward and Right now, it's not about that. It is all about what is happening front and centre in the heart of the northeast of England. First blood to Leon Slater. Oh, but Bailey gets it out of the way. Look at Mike Bailey's face, Vader Scott. What a story that tells. Because this is a different Leon Slater to the one that Vader, that the one Vader's got that, that Mike Bailey faced. Yeah, and you know, Leon, he said that himself, but those weren't just words. I mean, you and I know for a fact, we, we see him month to month, we call his matches. We know that every single month he grows, he improves, he becomes stronger, he becomes faster. But you can say the same thing about Mike Bailey. The one thing that we saw from Leon Slater last month that I'm looking for it this time round is that attitude adjustment that we saw against Rio. We saw the crowd turned against him and we saw Leon Slater start to get rattled by that. He even had a, a brief back and forth with man like Doris. Yeah, and, and we talked about it at the time, Tom, but that, that speaks maybe a little bit to the inexperience of Leon Slater. It's hard to remember that he is not long in the pro wrestling business. He's had so much success in such a short time at such a young age. He truly is phenomenal. But it's moments like that. It's moments where you can get a little rattled. That makes you think it's that inexperience. And right here, we're seeing it now. Bailey able to overtake Slater. And Slater, relentless. Whoa. Right back to the lockup. Bailey picks the leg. Opa gets sent back to the outside. And now Slater taking off. Whoa. Oh my days! The height from Leon Slater! And Mike Bailey is reeling. I mean, we can talk about that, Tom. When you have a match between two world class athletes who are known taking risks, who are known for their high flying. If you can be the first one to connect with something like that, that is a huge advantage. It is a mental win. It is renting an apartment in the head of your opponent. And Leon Slater has just bought the penthouse. Oh, watch. Billy with the boot Slater of the apron and Slater had that one scouted. Oh, slingshotting into a splash right into a cover. 
Slater. Two count only, and Slater. Whoa. Oh, this is going to be a match that you're going to need to measure in kilometers per hour. Round and forth, these two go. Bailey leaping over Slater. Slater on the apron, and this time that boot connects. Watch out for Bailey. Triangle moves. Oh my gosh! And landing right on their feet. Speedball taking out Slater. Planet Earth that does what Speedball Mike Bailey does. A long time spent outside of, of Canada, like landlocked essentially to Canada. When he got back into the States and beyond, it was like he was speed running the wrestling industry to get up to speed with everyone else. And he surpassed so many tonight. He oh. could, oh God, he could become the number one in the north of England. And to the detriment of everyone who steps into the ring with Speedball, Mike spent those years in Japan for the most part just honing his skills. As you can see right there, connecting with those kicks. And you see those flashes of that New Japan style coming through in Mike Bailey. And it's something that Leon Slater doesn't know about. There's an entire world, an entire almanac of professional wrestling that Leon Slater hasn't even begun to read, whilst oh. Mike Bailey has read cover to cover. This is also where Bailey likes to slow down the pace of the match, especially when you're in the ring with someone like Slater, who relies on that speed, who relies on that explosiveness. This is where Slater, like you, you're absolutely on the money. Slater is, when he's slowed down, you can truly see that. Oh. He finds it difficult to get those gears back in place as cover by Speedball. Oh, Slater kicks out. Wait, another cover. <laughs> Two. But this is, this is Mike Bailey just wearing down Leon Slater. That double stomp driving the air out of Leon Slater and then making him kick out and kick out and kick out again. And again, as you get deeper and deeper into a grueling match, that's where you start to make mistakes. And that's where Mike Bailey, he has been there before. He's, he is no stranger to main events. He's no stranger to these long and, and arduous matches. Oh, Leon's trying to, trying to shake it off. He's absorbed a lot of punishment from Mike Bailey here, and Leon is... Leon's getting a free shot here. Oh, the sweat is already flying off these chops. Oh, oh Bailey God. fires right back. Lord. Shuts him down and drops him on the rope. Oh, Slater's all hung up. Up top for Speedball. Oh! oh. Leon got lunch. Look at this now, Mike Bailey on the move, keeping Leon Slater from gathering any momentum. Guardrail. And they're getting amongst the North Faithful here. And his strategy is just to drive the air out of Leon Slater. This might just do it as well. Slater is hung up on the guardrail. Oh, oh double knees onto the floor. So much aggression shown by Mike Bailey.
Countout would have meant that Leon Slater retained the title, but I know the sort of competitor that Leon Slater is. He won't accept the technicality oh. over Mike Bailey. Bailey ducked the kick, but gets caught on the rebound. Whoa! Lands it, flush that springboard back elbow from Leon Slater. Slater counted his blessings whilst Bailey counts his teeth. Oh, you could hear the crack. There's only so much a mouth guard will do for keeping the teeth in your mouth. Wait, Bailey counted it. Well scouted that blue thunder bomb. Up and over goes Slater and connects with another running boot. Cover on the boot! Just a two. This match has been a hundred miles an hour from, from the beginning, and there's no sign of slowing down. Bailey still checking his teeth, checking his jaw. As now Leon Slater pulling himself back up. You can see already the wear and tear setting in, but Slater, he is powering through it. He's nodding, trying to get the crowd's approval, but he's got his hand on his back. He knows he's in pain, and he's... Oh, he's got that blue thunder again, and Bailey, they blocked it with a series of elbows. Speedball knew that was coming and shut it down. Leon Slater bounces through. Oh, my God! Bailey dumped to the outside. Oh, Leon Slater looking to fly once again, and... the champ in trouble as Speedball Mike Bailey looks for the finishing touch. Oh. oh my God. Mike Bailey knows he's got this in hand now. Derek Stark right into the cover. And that's, it's a two. No wasted time, no wasted movement and still Leon Slater kicks out. We've seen Leon Slater in there with the likes of WXW's Peter Tahani. We've seen him in there with Rio last month. We've seen him in there with Kid Lycos too. I think even at this point, Vader Scott, this is the biggest challenge to Leon Slater's title reign to date. Yeah. Mike Bailey may kick his way to the top of North Wrestling. And we've talked about this before, Tom, but it's just different when you are the champion, when you have that target on your back. Oh, Slater says bring it on. Slater is not done with Mike Bailey. Oh, gritting his teeth and gutting through it. Mike Bailey is taking the champ past his pain threshold tonight. Slater, can I have some more? Wait, ducks the penalty kick, ducks the moves all knees. Nothing landing. Oh my God, everything lands. Wow. Swift is going to count them down. This would be a devastating turn of events, Vader Scott, if this is a double countdown. Because, yes, of course, Leon Slater, he wants to hold on to that championship, but this is not, that would not be the victory that he wants. Absolutely not. He has spoken so much about how Mike Bailey feels almost final boss esque to him. But it was Bailey who fired off the first shot. 
Slater back to his feet, shaking up. Bailey and Leon Slater, I say it a lot, I'll say it again, they are dropping bombs on each other. Leon forced to use the ropes to pull himself back up to his feet, but he's going down swinging. Both land in flush and this has just become a strike fest here at Slamfest. Leon Slater might be out cold. Spoke too soon, he might be. He is just, just crawling on his hands and knees. I don't even know if he realizes exactly where he is. Leon, 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 Leon. Just about some life left in Leon Slater now. Whoop. Slater dropped to a knee and fires back with a chop. Oh, look at that. Bailey saw that coming from a mile off. Bailey again. Whoa. Slater lands on his feet and he connects. Just like that, Leon Slater's turning the tide. That suplex snap. Whoa. Bailey from behind. And he nails it. That suplex into a corkscrew. This would be a terrible way to end things if both can't get to their feet, but we see Mike Bailey, we see Leon Slater starting to stir Three, on the outside of the ring. Four, We're already up to a five count. Oh. oh, that breaks the count, but Bailey wanted in first. Strategy by Mike Bailey pulls Leon Slater in. He wants, he wants the high ground in this one. Swept onto the apron. We've, this is not good for Leon Slater. We've seen that ring apron with devastating effect tonight. Oh my God! Leon Slater's rib cage must be shattered. It has had so much offense directed towards it tonight. Every breath is further punishment. Bailey trying to hook that flamingo driver. Oh my God. Slater had it scouted, Slater gets out of the way! Slater in the eye of the tour! 
double chain of moves that leaves both men down. Vader Scott, this is the damnedest North title match I've ever seen. Leon Slater, he wanted a challenge. He is certainly getting it. But in the end, is he going to walk out with that title still in hand? Mike Bailey is kicking out of everything that Slater gives him. For everything Leon Slater has done, Mike Bailey's had an answer. For everything Mike Bailey has done, Leon Slater's had an answer. There can be only one, and look at that again, Mike Bailey, incredible ring presence. He knows the beating he's got. He rolled out of the ring to buy himself some time, allow Leon Slater to stew on it. Right now, Leon Slater is looking for one big defining move in this defining North Wrestling title match. 174 days as the man. Can Leon Slater put the stopper on? Oh. Side. 
Reminding Leon Slater 
I'll see you February 10th, Michael. <laughs>